Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about private commercial space industry in California. My guest is Steve Knight, a member of the State Senate from Antelope Valley. Thanks very much for being with us. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me. And your, your district, for those who live outside the district, I mean, it really is home to a thriving space industry, isn't it? Well, you know, for about the last 70 years, the uh, government, NASA, and the U.S. Air Force has been sending people up into space. And uh, in 2004, it all changed. A little town in Mojave, uh, they sent a private person into space with private money. And that just kind of changed the whole game and made us look at uh, how you and I might be in space someday. And now you have some billionaires. Paul Allen is one and Sir Richard Branson is another who are pouring money into the space in, private space industry in, uh, in, your, in your district. They are. And, uh, you know, you've got Elon Musk down with SpaceX and uh, Paul Allen kind of started it with uh, with uh, the spaceship company. Uh, before that, it was... Um, it was just a company that built uh, airplanes. It was Burt Rutan out there building airplanes and building varies and, and things like that. And uh, so Paul Allen went out there and put some money into it, quite a bit of money. And then Richard Branson has followed along and put a ton of money into it. And now he's created the spaceship company. And uh, we're seeing you know, upwards of 50,000 jobs over the next 20 years in this industry alone. We'd like them to be here in California. We think that we have the brain trust, we have the know-how to do this type of activity, and, uh, and so we want them to be here. So that's why we're, we're crafting legislation to make sure that they're here, make sure that those jobs stay here, and make sure that the entrepreneurs of the future want to come to California. When you talk about legislation, you're talking about um, tax incentives, for example? Well, the first one we had to do was the Liability Act. And that basically said that, uh, you know, starting this year, they hope to put people into space, the, uh, the wealthy people, uh, Justin Bieber's and uh, the people that can fork out $200,000. Um, you and I probably can't do that. And so we are going to allow them to do that, but they're going to sign their name on the dotted line. And if something happens that's not gross negligence, hold harmless they're hold harmless and th the reason is is because if we sue those companies out of existence or if we make those billionaires not want to take this risk you and I will not be able to go to space someday or our children and the next generation is going to be able to get in a spaceship in LA and fly to Tokyo in two and a half hours and if we allow that to happen we will uh, you know things change and it changes for the better. And right now, California, your area, really is sort of leading the nation in terms of this, correct? We are, but many other states are taking leaps forward to allow these companies to be there. And uh, Colorado and Virginia and Texas and Florida have been at the forefront of allowing uh, liability changes and, and allowing people to take a risk. And, and when the consumer rights attorneys say, well, we want to keep that risk down to a minimum, I say, you know, back in, in the late 1890s, the Fords of the world, the Daimlers of the world, they didn't have all these lawsuits and all this uh, torque problems. They just did it because they wanted to advance and they wanted a better product. We only have a few seconds left. Do, do we have to go beyond your legislation then? Yes, yes. We've got we've to do it for manufacturers and suppliers and make it so that if you want to take the risk, you can take the risk. But well, it's a fascinating subject, and uh, I hope we have you back here as we, Absolutely. we follow the progress of your legislation. And uh, uh, Senator Knight, thanks for being here and talking about it. Thanks, Steve. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube and also on My Government On Demand. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.